Alright, we're back here and uh, in lane one we got PG 35 plus, lane two not fast just furious, lane three proud of five goals, lane four X Amino Vintage, lane five Tunnel Wide Triple Unders, lane six 152 Cougars, lane seven Kyle Army Mystique, lane eight Buns with Guns, lane nine the Golden Goals, lane ten Wannabe 35, lane 11 Wild Coast Classics, lane 12 Pro Form Queens. Your final heat here, the Masters, ladies, uh, lucky enough they will get full coverage this weekend, or today, should I say. However, that final, only seven teams will be making that final. See our ladies on the burpee pull-ups, only eight of those, and then they're going to go into their rope climbs, from there into the deadlifts. And then from the deadlifts all the way to those handstand walks. That is round one. In round two, they will repeat everything again. However, those burpee uh, pull-ups will turn into synchronized pull-ups. And then in the third round, those uh, synchronized pull-ups turns into one dead hang. And the other will be doing bar muscle-ups. Nice, interesting stimulus. Love it. I love it when we uh, experiment a little bit with these sort of things. So great stuff to see at the battle powered by puma if you just tuned in welcome this is our it's happening africa production my name is jason Mikey friedman and i've uh, been covering the battle here at monte casino just a huge shout out to my team it's happening dot africa our producers our cameraman and uh, our volunteer who's been running around opening gates and getting cables Really been appreciating uh, the extra hands that we've had here at the battle. And then, of course, a huge thank you to the battle for allowing us to be here and uh, getting you the footage. As we see our 152 ladies. That's uh, Tanya. Mama T, they like to call her. Uh, been around the, the CrossFit scene for some time now and always giving her best and also such an awesome lady to hang out with Yeah, we see all these athletes, they're starting to make their way to those deadlifts. 65 kgs on the bar for them. Well, total. And everyone going with a... Oh, sorry, a lot. Yes, everyone on uh, doubles. Remember, at the deadlift, they can choose to go with one athlete or they can go with two athletes on those deadlifts. But it looks like everyone choosing to go with a double. On the double, I would uh, try to push that the guys that are doing the deadlifts make sure that they do it uh, unbroken or they can rest, but they mustn't swap out. That transfer is quite a far away uh, and it does take a lot of time. And then, of course, you want that athlete who's resting to have enough uh, oxygen in their system to make sure that they can get those handstand walks done and dusted. And as we've seen throughout the scale as well as uh, the previous heat, those handstand walks have been the deciding factor. I think that is lane one we're seeing right now, who's sitting in second place, lane three in first. PG35 in lane one and then Powder Puff Girls in lane three. They're your current leaders. That's a no rep, unfortunately. She didn't cross both hands. That's just a lapse of concentration. It's not that she couldn't do it. She just lost a bit of concentration there and did not cross with both hands. Remember, we're going to watch her closely. And now she can come down. And that is the Powder Puff Girls. Luckily, they got a decent little lead, so that shouldn't cost them too much. Remember, if they fail, they'll go back to the previous 2.5, the line uh, just behind them. It's 
synchronized to Sabah. 16 of them. couple of more ladies that busy with their handstand walks. One lady on the right there coming down. Not too sure which lane that is. Think. Uh, it's X Omino Vintage. They came down. Let's see the 152 Cougars in lane six. Also struggling a bit there with their handstand walks. Uh, I think with uh, something that's very underestimated is how much your heart rate and how much your breathing affects the way you are lifting. Uh, you're doing handstand walks. So especially those deadlifts, when you are ripping it out as quick as you can, you spike that heart rate, and that really, really can affect the way you do your handstand walks in this workout. And uh, Raquel, on your screen now, would never say that she's uh, a master. And there she gets through. Great shots here from our cameraman, making sure we get you some great action. Our amino acid ladies are still uh, on the floor there trying to get through those 2.5s. One, five, two Cougars, lane six. No rep. Her hand touched the white line. It's got to be behind the white line another thing that you don't want to do every time you're on uh, your hands you're putting strain in that you can almost think of it as a video game when you see that health bar going down and down and down it's pretty much what happens every time you go up onto those hands and you get no rep or you do a deadlift and you get no rep you slowly but surely take away from that lifeline that you have See if Raquel can get through yeah and unfortunately not she's really struggling those shoulders are fatigued and I was just about to say they should probably swap out give another athlete a go there because Raquel's shoulders definitely taking some strain there and look at this beautiful and oh I think she's going to get called back there no she wasn't called back oh And over she goes, both hands. <laughs> she had a bit of a panic because her hand lifted up, but I think there was enough contact on the ground there for that to count. My producer just whispered in my ear that she actually kicked the judge. Uh, I, I completely missed that. I was so busy looking at her hands. Trust my producer to see that. He loves seeing uh, action like that. People getting kicked in the face and whatnot. <laughs> And uh, no rep there again. They've got to try sync at the same time, and they do. And that is a wrap here for Masters Heat number two. And guess what, guys? We got oh our God, open God. ladies next. It's going to be super exciting. We got to walk with them on the floor last night, uh, and it looks like a powerhouse side. I actually spoke to Hannes um, about the strength that the Opens are bringing this year. And he said this is the strongest field that they have ever had at the battle. So it's going to be super exciting. We can't wait to see it.
before you sign and give it back in, make sure it's correct. Once you're done with Don't forget, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and of course, most importantly, make sure you hit that bell notification so you know exactly when we upload our next video. We'll see you in a bit.